we have a big question now. How do scientists know an animal's food diet? How do scientists know animal's food diet? How can the scientist uh, decide whether the giraffe is an omnivorous or carnivorous or phytophagous? What do they do? What are the methods that they use? Actually, there are many methods that an uh, that a scientist that can apply to know whether this animal is a phytophagous, omnivorous, or zoophagous. So how do scientists know animals' food habits or food diets? We can classify them into groups. So scientists can make direct observation direct observation or indirect investigation. Let us explain them one by one. So direct observation. Let us see these pictures to understand what is the meaning of direct observation. For example, the scientist will go to the forest and he will observe or he will see and monitor an animal and he will see what does this animal eat usually. He will use his tools like the magnifier, maybe he will use camera. So he will notice and observe what does the animal usually eat. For example, he is studying the deer. The deer. So, he will focus that the deer eats plants, tree leaves. So, this is the direct observation. Scientists observe animals' food diet directly using their tools. For example, the magnifier, the camera. Okay, also we have another way which is indirect investigation maybe the animal is dangerous we cannot get closer to it like the lion like the tiger so the scientist cannot make a, a direct observation he will make indirect investigation let's see how maybe the scientist can give um an animal a meal. Then after that, he will analyze the remains of the meal. He will see what did the animal eat and what remained from this meal. Or maybe the scientist will make an analysis of excrement contents. For example, he will see the excrement contents. Uh, the excrement contents means the waste of an animal. He will see what are the wastes of this animal. And from the wastes, he will know what did the animal eat. So the content of the small intestine here is a yellowish green liquid with some plant fibers. So the scientist will know from this waste, the scientist will know what did the animal eat. He, from here, for example, the animal ate plants. Another method, maybe the scientist will analyze the stomach contents. For example, here we have a fish and the scientist will open them after the death of the animal. The scientist will open the stomach and will see the contents. We'll see what is inside the stomach. And from the contents of the stomach, the scientist will decide whether this animal is a phytophagus or an omnivorous or maybe a zoophagus. So indirect investigation by the analysis of the remains of the meal 
or analysis of excrement contents or analysis of the stomach contents.